I saw Becky is getting a delivery up here and it is a big one coming by freight. Let's check it out. That's exciting. You want to open it? We just have to have something to lift the pallet. Mm. What do you think that is, guys? The milker! The milking machine. You excited? Yes! yes. So Midi Supply sent us our milking machine. We're going to open it up and look at it. Oh, oh, oh look how much bubbles we got! A oh. milking machine! All right, there's that part. Yeah. Tear it apart. Tear it apart, boys. All right, we got our handles. We're going to put those on. Look how shiny that is. Oh, they send a hat. They always send spare parts with their milking machines. Oh yeah. So we got the machine put together. There were simple instructions. Now we just have to disinfect it and we can start using it. So excited. This morning we came out and there's guineas in the turkey pen. Don't know why, but. But we've been talking about putting them together. It was funny because yesterday we had talked about putting the guineas with the turkeys because they are picking on the chickens and we come out this morning and they are in with the turkeys. It's so weird. It's like they knew what we're talking about. Hey guys, you got some uh, visitors. We left the room before you once again, love. Yeah, we said some things we didn't mean, hun. I always start the fight and you put the fire out I always say too much and I get jealous I never hear you out and that is selfish I always start the fight and you put the fire out What you got there, Becky? Cream Lake Bar They're very friendly Not exactly comfortable He's got some talons. Ah. Nails right into your neck. Ah. Ah. <laughs> hey, one of those blood ducks. I'm gonna hold it. Ooh, this is a good time to put it in the water to let it swim. So the hookbill ducklings are about a month old and we've got them in with Captain now. No names for the ducklings yet. Once we find out their genders, then we'll start to name them some Peter Pan names. Captain. Captain's going for a little flight. Who you got there? Duckling. Look at the cool colors. It's just been a regular brown and then now it's starting to get some light brown and some black stripes on the, on the sides. All right, we finally get to show you the milking machine. We've been working with this for these couple weeks, we've had it for over a month. We had some issues with the solar initially, we got them worked out. We converted the cow barn to work for our cows about six months ago, beginning of March, and decided to put cows into it. This was in pretty bad shape, wasn't it, Becky? Yeah. We pulled out a baler, we cleaned it out, we put up a lot of junk, so we, we put up stalls, got it all ready for our cows to bring Dolly home, and then she ended up giving birth to Maisie in there. And then for the summer months, for the last, uh, I don't know, three, four months, we have been hand milking our cow. And it's gone pretty well. I mean, we're able to do it. Yes, we got to the point where we was having no issues, no kicking. We were able to do it in a timely manner, but it took us both coming out every single day and doing it. We've done chores. Before that, we would do chores, just really one person would come out and do the chores and we'd alternate or something like that. And we've had to do the chores together, which is okay and it's good. We <laughs> have enjoyed it, it's okay. but there's no days off. But now after installing solar in the barn, we're now able to milk our cow. Let's show you this machine. All right, so here is our Molasti milker. Thank you so much to Midi Supply for working with us on this project. And we wanna go down how this thing works before showing you how we milk our we cow. We turn it on each time it's not plugged in currently, but when we turn it on, 
We hit the on switch. It turns the motor on. The motor is what creates the vacuum suction. And so it sends power through the regulator, down through the piping, and into the claw. We actually had a different claw. The previous claw had four of these that actually do the milking. And for our cow, she still won't let us do all four teats. She still kicks and fights if we try to milk all four at once. And so they sent us out a new claw, and so we could just run two off of it. It pumps all the milk, and you'll see it in action. It goes really fast. Pumps all the milk through this clear tubing right here into this six gallon stainless steel container. And then from there, we can take off the seal tight lid and then pour the milk into our two gallon container that we take back to the house. We're gonna get Dolly all set up. We're gonna get her cleaned up and then we'll show you how we milk her. So now we're gonna clean off her teats some warm soapy water, free from any cow manure or dust or dirt. We have our iodine teat dips and disinfect the teats. And then we just wash that off and we're ready to go. So we got Maisie on her back teats because we were trying to milk and we could not get her milk down. So we had to have her on the back teats. So I'm gonna run a stopwatch to show how fast this takes. Okay, so we're all ready to go. So I'm gonna turn it on and then I'm gonna put these two up at the same time. It's all closed up, so it'll start to create suction. Starting the timer now. and start to see, you can see all the, the milk pulling through here. You can see the vacuum suction where it's pulling the milk. And then you can see the milk flowing through here all the way around. And then check this out right here. Just dumping right into the container. about 45 seconds in, so we got about a minute, minute and a half left. We're at about a minute 45 right now. It's still flowing really good. Tell me when you want Maisie off there too. Now we're gonna get Maisie off because it's flowing fine, so we'll move her back. Stop suction, pull out one of these, and it releases these. And then we can turn it off. We're at three minutes it took us to do that. Okay, so now we're gonna take the milk out so we can transfer it to take it back because we leave the milker out here and we just clean it right here in place. So I'm gonna pour this into our other container. Let's do it right here. And that right there, that amount used to take us about 30 minutes to hand milk to get that. And now we can do it in about three minutes. And then before we let her out, we clean her one more time with the teeth dip. Maybe. <laughs> and then once we let Maisie out, we let Maisie out. 
and she's ready to eat right away. And then they're together the rest of the day. So now we're gonna clean the machine. It's a pretty easy process. We're just gonna put the milkers into warm soapy water with a little bit of vinegar and turn on the machine. Dump that out. We can clean our workstation here. And now we just do some fresh water just to get the suds out. And there you go. We're ready to milk for tomorrow. So thank you so much to Midi Supply for working with us on this Molasti milker. It has been really amazing and quite a time saver to be able to work with this machine. So if you have any questions about their machines, they're great people to ask. They can demonstrate things right in their office. And if there's anything that you need answered about a milking machine or about the Molasti machines, definitely ask us down in the comments. We'll be happy to answer them. And if you want to check out Midi Supply, we'll have a link to their website down in the description. All right, so now we've got our milk we milked today. So we filter it with our coffee filter. a little over a gallon today. Got a little bit extra, so we'll put it in this little jar. So about a gallon and a quart today. And now we're gonna skim the cream off from yesterday's milk. Fill up one of these maybe every two to three days. And this makes it easier for us to handle than a big gallon jar. We have it in a half gallon jar that has a handle on it. And the end result is beautiful raw Jersey milk. <laughs> you fogged up the lid. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Good job, team. We did it. We milked a cow.